The worst thing in the poop universe is diarrhea. Why must we suffer from this liquid punishment? Today we will learn about the three different types of diarrhea and how they can be treated. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment below. It only takes a few seconds and it'll really help our channel grow. I'm Nurse Wong and this is Butt Dogs. Diarrhea, according to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Disease (NIDDK), diarrhea is defined as having loose or watery stools more than three times a day. According to American Family Physician (AFP), diarrhea sickness accounts for 2.5 million deaths each year throughout the world, while the WHO reports that diarrhea kills over half a million children below age 5 annually in underdeveloped countries. In the U.S., it is estimated that each year, 48 million cases of foodborne diarrhea occur resulting in 3,000 deaths. The onset of diarrhea happens because of one or more factors cause our digestive system to quickly flush food and water from our gut. There are multiple causes for diarrhea such as infection, foods, medications, and health-based conditions. There are also gray areas where these conditions overlap each other, making it kind of difficult to diagnose. If your diarrhea is long-term, lasting more than 7 to 10 days, I strongly recommend consulting with the medical professional to find the most appropriate treatments. Let's look at the three types of diarrhea and what you need to know about them. Number one, acute diarrhea. Acute diarrhea is sudden and volatile, lasting between a few hours to several days. The most common symptoms of acute diarrhea includes cramping, indigestion, nausea, and vomiting, fever, dehydration, and weight loss. Acute diarrhea can be related to minor food intolerances or medication side effects. These bouts of diarrhea are often short-lived. In conjunction with medical professional guidance, cutting out troublesome foods, modifying medications if possible, staying hydrated, and switching on to an easily digestible diet will often help you overcome these bothersome bouts. Check out our videos on Why Am I Gassy to learn more about common food intolerance. More serious causes of acute diarrhea are viral, bacterial, parasitic infections from food or water. Some of the foods and waterborne pathogens that cause acute diarrhea are expired foods, foods that are improperly stored or prepared, foods prepared in poorly treated water, and unsanitary water. There's a long list of microbial, viral, and parasitic sources such as E. coli, Giardia, rotavirus, and Shigella. A particular volatile form of acute diarrhea is dysentery, a type of parasitic intestinal inflammation. The main factor that separates dysentery from standard acute diarrhea is the presence of blood or mucus in your stools. In this case, you should immediately seek medical attention at your local emergency room. These types of diarrhea can be highly contagious. Be sure to wash your hands thoroughly and avoid sexual activity and stay away from public pools and hot tubs to prevent the spread and keep everyone safe. Be mindful to use disinfectant wipes on common surfaces to avoid any potential points for contamination. Number two, persistent diarrhea. Persistent diarrhea can last two to four weeks. The most common cause is viral infection. However, it can be related to any of the causes mentioned before. If you're dealing with persistent diarrhea from infection, it's especially easy to spread to others. Germs are not visible, so it's vitally important to wash your hands frequently, practice good hygiene, and disinfect common areas. If your diarrhea does not go away after 12 hours, I recommend seeking medical attention. If left untreated, diarrhea can present major health risks. Some long-term causes of persistent diarrhea include irritable bowel syndrome and inflammatory bowel disease, cirrhosis of the liver, 
unaddressed food or medication intolerances, disorder of the pancreas and gallbladder. Number three, chronic diarrhea. According to the Cleveland Clinic, chronic diarrhea lasts for more than four weeks or comes and goes regularly over a long period of time. Chronic diarrhea can be the result of a long-term physiological conditions that include the after effects of radiation therapy, HIV, or other immune diseases, GI surgeries, such as gallbladder removal. Because of the nature of these conditions, they are more complex and must be properly managed. They may require lifestyle changes and or the use of certain medications. Consult with a GI expert to find the best solution. To treat most cases of diarrhea, it is important to stay hydrated, to increase your intake of electrolytes, and to follow a low residue diet to slow down your gut motility. For my patients, I personally recommend trying the BRAT diet. The BRAT diet consists of B for bananas, R for rice, A for applesauce, tea for toast. These foods are easily processed in your gut and can slow down the digestive tract until solid stools form. For extra help, try probiotics, anti-diarrheal agents, and the fiber supplementations. I'll leave a link to my favorite supplements in the description below. The key to ending your painful ordeal with diarrhea depends on many key factors. These factors often require medical attention and immediate self-care. If you have suffered through major diarrhea, it can turn any situation into an emergency and restrict your freedom of activity. Be sure to follow my recommendations so you can say goodbye to diarrhea. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you would like to learn about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great group day.